What up, YouTube? It's your boy Takeover checking in again. We back with another video, man. Hey, before the video even gets started, I got two shout outs, man. I want to give Kevin Gibson a big shout out for the $100 donation to the channel, bro. Hey, I appreciate the love, man. Then we got 12S Mitchell for the $20 dono. Hey, everybody who donate to the channel, I appreciate y'all, man. I know I don't be able to get to the, all of the comments all the time. I be busy working and kids and, you know, trying to film, trying to edit. I just be all over the place, though. But I definitely appreciate y'all rocking with the channel, man. Be back in the lab, man. This weekend was our, uh, our family reunion weekend. And when I say, bro, I'm exhausted. I ain't really had no food. I ain't really had no water. I had a good time though. We we kicked it, man. We went bowling. We went out. We went partying. <laughs> out to eat. What else we did, man? We did. We we had a blast, bro. I enjoyed myself, man. But your boy, I had to sleep in the day because your boy was tired. And I, I'm I'm very thankful that I got to see all of my family, bro. That I haven't seen in like seven years, cause we stay all around the country. So a lot of my family, I didn't, I haven't seen in years. So seeing them coming here, you know, it was a different kind of motivation. You know what I mean? Different kind of motivation. I'm back in my bag. I am still a little exhausted though. I ain't gonna hold you. But today I said, I couldn't miss no work. I got to come get this work. Uh, I did train Friday. I didn't have a chance to edit that video yet. Cause we've just been all out and about, but we back in action. And today, we at the new dog house, man. The new dog house. I ain't, I came Saturday. I showed my family, some of my family, uh, the dog house Saturday. They still had a lot of work to do, though. You know, but I'm finna take y'all in here. We finna see it together, man. So let's get it, man. Let's go. I don't even know what I'm finna train today because I'm feeling soft and weak. But we finna move some weight. Well, we gonna get a pump. All right, let go. It's the new dog house, y'all. Yeah. Let me zoom it out a little bit for y'all so y'all can see what's going on, man. The new dog house. We all in one building now. First we was in three three different sides. Now we locked and loaded in one building now. It's the machine weights side. The cardio room. Oh, it gets it gets better. It gets better. There's only one. The body, I mean, a power lifting room right here, boy. That's where it goes now. See? All the deep dish 45s. Yeah, I see what's going on. All the special bars. Can't be a power lifter gym, man. If you ain't got all the tools that you need. All the different bars. Y'all yeah, see it. The dog house. Let's go. This is leg section. A low key ball need to hit some legs. I, I like to hit legs when I got food in me. Yes, sir. Look at your boy on the wall, man. Look at your boy on the wall, man. You see it. The real, they got it bought it down. Cool. They're making it happen, man. Dumbbells go up to 200s. 200s. Them big boys. See, they dust. I'm about to knock the dust off over real soon. I see what's going on, man. It's only one dog house. But let me go get my mind right. And we finna get this work, man. All right, child. So I decided I'm gonna do shoulders hamstring today which I know we got to start with them pull-ups man yeah, sir, ski. 
Pull-ups feel good, man. That's one of them things. It's hard to do when you first start off, but the more you do them, the better you get at them. And they make your back look crazy. Oh uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta have my uncle send me a picture. Send me the picture that he took. I had a pose on. We went out, and I got a sneeze. We had went out, and I had a pose off with a dude in the middle of the club. He busted his shirt open, boom, flexed on me. I peeled off on him. Get off when we in the middle of the club, having a pose off. But I want to show you, I was hitting the side chest and my uncle was filming from behind me and my back just looked it crazy. I mean, I'm gonna I'm insert the picture in this clip to show you why them pull-ups and them rows, hey, they ain't, gonna, they ain't gonna fail you, man. Let's go. Yes, sir. Feel good to be back in the lab, man. I probably needed them a couple days, though. I wish I would have been eating more, but I probably needed them a couple days to let my body recover a little bit so I can get back into attacking them goals, you know? Feel a lot better. I feel better. I need to go get a massage. My back so tense. Ooh, I got a massage gun, though. I'm gonna have my lady put it on my back today. Try to break down all them knots and stuff. But your boy forgot his headphone. So this type of this type of vibe I'm on today, man. Hold on, let me see. Hey, why you get to it? Got them slow jams playing today, boy. Yes, sir, ski. <laughs> That's a quick 30. A quick dirty 30. Let's go get some shoulder work in, man. All right, child, we finna get on this. This big boy standing shoulder press, that old school joint, you heard? Yee. Let me see if I get that angle right for y'all, though. Putting a decent amount of weight on. I got a good pump for them pull-ups alone. Let me see. Stand right up under it. I mean, you got the option to stand out but I like to stand right up under it. So my my head is between the handles. Let me see. Let me get out of this angle first. So my head is right here. So it's a natural movement. Boom, down, boom, boom, boom. I would do my push-ups today between every set, but I'm here solo, as you can see. My girl out, my lady is out. Well, my mom and my granny, they out getting their nails done and school shopping and all that stuff. Y'all know I don't really, I'm the type of dude, I don't really like being in them stores all day like that. I be, I be ready to go. You know, women go shopping, they wanna, Walk around the whole store a hundred times. Man, let's get this, get this, get this, and let's get up out of here. <laughs> but I'm solo today. That pump coming, that pump coming back. Uh, I'm meal prep today. Get back on my chicken and rice, my steak and rice. I might have to go to the, make a store run, go to Costco. I might go, either Costco or Sam's, we'll see. Sam's is closer to my house than Costco. It is what it is. They all said the same thing. And while, while, while it's on my mind, I want to give a big shout out to T and Lauren Love, man. Hey, y'all did y'all thing with this one, dog. Y'all did y'all thing. And I seen, I helped 
move a lot of this equipment. And I was tired. They set up everything, the flags, they did the painting, they the mirrors, the whiteboards, put the machines where they belong. Like when I came up here to see T yesterday, he said, man, I've been here for 30 hours. I've been working since three o'clock, 3 a.m. the previous day. But y'all y'all did y'all thing with this one too. And I wanna let y'all know, it ain't no other gym like this in the area. I'm gonna just call it spade and spade. Like I always say, the dog house and Southside Iron. But Southside Iron is technically in Illinois. So this the dog house over here, and then we got the yard over in Illinois. Top two dopest gyms. Because with a gym, it's deeper than just the equipment in the building that you're in. You gotta have, you gotta have that chemistry. Like you gotta be able to have relations with your members. Like T and Lauren Love and Danny. Man, they, they, they showing love, they support their members, they support local business, like local other gyms. They get the machines, if you put in a request for a machine, they gonna make it happen, bro. So, T Love, Lauren Love, and Danny Ferguson, Daniel Ferguson. Yeah, y'all doing y'all thing, man, keep it up. <laughs> more food over here yeah I know he got the he got the thing that you could put in here and then you can add plates on that I don't know exactly where it is right now I'm gonna see if I can find it I don't want to bother him now here I know they've been putting in their work they probably resting the day so I don't want to bother them. if not I'll put some weights over here let me see how let me see if I get a different angle yeah, see, hopefully I can hear my slow jam. Know what type of vibe I'm in today, man. Moving some weight, talking to y'all, my peoples, my fam, and reflecting, bro. I mean, I'm in a good space. I'm happy right now. I'm in a good space mentally, bro. Motivated, more motivated than ever. Mm. upload the picture too. My big cuz pulled his Harley out. Y'all know I used to ride sports bikes. And for the longest he been saying, man, get it, get it. You gotta get on that Harley, cuz you gotta get on that Harley. Once you get on that Harley, you ain't gonna want no street bike no more. You gonna love that Harley. So I can't say I rode his Harley yesterday. It was my first time ever riding Harley. Man, that thing. I still want a street bike though. But me, me and my lady got on the back, but well, she was on the back. We ride. First, I took it for a quick spin down the block by myself. I said, oh, I love this. I swooped back, come on, hop on the back of this thing. Let's, let's go for a ride. We were in the road. We gone for probably about 45 minutes to an hour on his bike. We got the, he got the music on it. Whoa, whoa. Ride that thing, man. With the little buck, buckle hat, whatever they call it, button helmet, whatever they call it. That was a vibe. I'm gonna put the picture in the video. All this stuff gonna be in the beginning of the video, man. But we had a blast, bro. He tell me, you, you look like a biker, you yoked up. <laughs> now I got to give me a Harley, y'all. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm gonna give me a Harley, but I wanna get by me a house first. Then I get back in, I get the toys, motorcycles, and things like that. We just trying to elevate all across the board and set the foundation for the family, for the kids, and things like that. Then I get back to getting the toys and stuff. Right now I'm in grind mode. I had seen somebody commented to take a vacation. I would love to take a vacation, bro. I wanna take a vacation, but at the same time, I'm in grind mode, bro. I gotta, I gotta earn that vacation. In order for me to earn my vacation, I gotta accomplish some of these goals and things like that. 
Like I said, my biggest goal right now, what I have set for myself is to buy a house for me and the fam. So that's the mission right now. Then we, that's when we celebrate. You know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dog, man. I'm a work hard, so. Once I get my mind set on something, I be locked into that until I accomplish that. And then that's when I, that's why I didn't compete this year, you know what I mean? Because I looked at it, don't get me wrong, competing is fun, bodybuilding. But same time, I calculated an uh, estimate of what I spent last year doing two shows for travel, food, supplements, and tanning, and entry fees, and, you know what I mean? All that stuff adds up, so. I'm like, dang, that could have been my down payment on the house for me and my family. You know what I mean? So once I get that situated, that's probably when I think about competing in bodybuilding again. But right now I'm on a mission, bro. But let me go find this thing so I can add some more food because that pump hitting good. I ain't expect to get no pump like that, so I'll be right back. All right, child, so I couldn't find a thing to put in there to add more weight and I couldn't find a pig iron weight. To go over here. I mean, I, if I took more time, I'm sure I could find them, but I'm trying to get up out of here, get in and get out. My grandma's still here, my uncle's still here. They from, they stay in the bay. And they leave tomorrow, so you come get some, get a quick pump, shoot some content for y'all, and go chill with the fam, man. But so I do another set over here, then I'm, I'm gonna get some hamstring working in too. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Jeez. Yeah, Sersky. Oh, yeah. I'm sipping on them cops. Good cops. Do some hamstring work, man. So, on these line hamstring curls, we're going to do it. This is how. The guy who took me under, under his wing when I was a young buck, when I first got my first membership, dog, I was driving, so I had to be like 16 when I got my first gym membership. And this is the way he showed me how to do it. He was a power lift. You know, back then, I ain't know the difference between power lift and bodybuilding and all that stuff. I just knew yoke. I say, dang, this dude yoked up, and he, and he, and he strong. Dude used to come, he used to come in the gym, I think he used to wear chucks and he'd have on like jogging pants or pajama pants with a wife beater and a dude, uh, a scully on, yoked up. You know what I mean? Them the kind, them the kind of dudes that I learned how to live for. So, oh, we're gonna do 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Do ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we're gonna add a little weight. So that was 45. I'm gonna put it at 90 just for now. Just see, get a feel for it. We're gonna do 10 more double legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm. Ooh. See? Damn, like the hamstrings up. So you see a lot of people trying to go super, super heavy with the hamstring. It's not needed with hamstrings. Hamstrings, I train hamstrings like I train biceps, bro. You don't have to go heavy, just get a lot of reps. You know what I mean? But train them, don't neglect them. Because that hamstring, you can't see it from this angle, but that hamstring make that leg look different. So I don't know if y'all can hear it, but when I'm doing my sets, after each rep, it's uh, rocking a little bit. You know what I mean? So. This is small things that you can do to help your gym out, bro. Like you see how it's, you know, they only two people. They trying to run the whole show. Well, they are running the whole show. Don't get me wrong, I ain't saying try. But they doing the best they can while, you know what I'm saying, they outside life. So it's small things they help, bro. Like 
how it's rocking, I'm going to go find a little piece of cardboard or something to stick under there to take away the rocket. Because that's something that they, I'm sure they haven't noticed yet because they've been working. They ain't really had a chance to work out. So that's how I'm going to give back to the, to the doghouse. I'm going to fix it. So hold on. See, now check it out. A quick and easy fix. Look at that. Now look at it. No noise. It's not shaking. So your, so your reps are more precise. Yeah. <laughs> know what I mean? Small things make big differences, guys. Let's get it. I had a little, little more weight. I'm at 60. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hamstrings lit up. So now on this one, I'm gonna go to 105. I was at 90 last year. Oosh, come on. Oh yeah. Woo. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. See, and this this is good. This is good for the guys who don't really like training legs, who duck wreck when they come to legs. You don't have to do a whole leg day. Like I know a lot of guys, especially the bodybuilder guys, they'll break their leg days up. So they'll do hamstrings one day, quads the next day. So for example, you could do hamstrings with an upper body movement, because we all love to train upper body. And then you can do biceps with another upper body movement, because we all love to train upper body, right? So that way, you know, a lot of people don't be motivated to go to the gym and hit a straight leg. So, but we look forward to going to the gym to hit arms, shoulders, chest, back. So with that being said, you can still look forward to hitting your arms, chest, shoulders, and back by throwing in some leg press on one of your days, quad extensions, hamstring curls, lunges. So you still getting the pump that you fiend for with the upper body, but you still getting your leg work at the same time. You know what I mean? It's just different things like that. You know, cause I was once that guy who ain't want to train no leg. I was once that tussy boy. <laughs> I was once that tussy boy skipping legs, man. Then I said, man, I can't be no tussy boy no longer. I want to be a big dog. And as you can see what it say right here, big dogs in the yard. <laughs> Pups stay in the house on the couch. <laughs> Lap dogs. <laughs> here we go. This is the last set right here, y'all. One, two, I went up 75. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, ah, uh, nine, in. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, come on, eight, nine, ten, ooh, jeez, them hamstrings on fire, y'all, we're going up to 120, I was at 105 last set, here we go, one time, two, three, Oh, huh. hey, uh, hey, ah, nah, oh, sheesh, them hamstrings lit up jack, Woo. now I'm gonna go out here, I'm gonna give me some lateral raises, so we'll be back, let's stay tuned, brush on them dumbbell lateral raises, man, yes sir, ski, at the 35, let go. Boom. Set. Hey. Uh, hmm. Get out of their way. Them pull-ups feel so good, man. I think I'm gonna bang out 100 today. I did 30 already, so I owe 70. And see the good thing about them pull-ups, 
them pull-ups gonna give you a crazy pump. Them pull-ups gonna spread you out. Bicep pump, back pump. You know, once your back, once your back already pumped and yoked up, you naturally gonna have a posture where you standing up straight. You know what I mean? But when your back weak, that's when dudes, you see dudes walking and sitting like this. You know what I mean, walking, uh, posture all jacked up. Get that back right, man, so you can sit up like a big dog, man. Let me get some more weight, man. Get these fouties. Let me get these fouties, man. Here we go. One, oh yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, sir, ski. Let me turn it down just in case. The mics ain't drowning it out. You see it. Ah, uh, woo! Hey, this place a vibe, dog. Look at it. And this Sunday, so ain't nobody in here. Look at it. This place is a vibe. A vibe. You see what's going on? Hey, T. This, this walking, this stair step right here. I think you should leave this one if you can. Probably like in the corner or something. But when dudes be on prep, you know, a lot of people be bored doing the cardio out there just looking at the wall out the window. So a lot of people enjoy watching people lift while they doing their cardio. I think that'd be good. It, it make people time go by faster because they watching people do what they enjoy to do. You know what I mean? It's just like when you when you having fun and time go by fast, it's the same concept with doing the start step or watching people lift. It's, you you enjoying it, so it's going by fast. It's like watching YouTube, watching a lifting YouTube video. Woo, let's go. Run it back. Yep. Oh yeah. You see, I ain't swinging and jerking. Three, four, five. Come on. Six, seven, eight, nine. Mmm. Yes, sir. Woo. Gonna do one more of them jokers. Jeez. I gotta give me like a, a necklace or something, bro. So I can wear my mic on my necklace up when I peel off. I might I might try to uh, go with the calisthenic dudes, man. This weekend, maybe. I'ma see if I'm free. I, yeah, I'ma see if I'm free. You gotta go school shopping this weekend coming up. So we're going to make that happen, though. I'm looking forward to that calisthenics video. You know, one thing is get back to normal without all the, you know, events and things like that. We'll be able to get it going. But we definitely going to get it going. I think that's going to be dope. Bodybuilder worst calisthenic dude. <laughs> Lego. Last set right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, huh? Hey, your search key. <clears throat> Back on them hammies, man. See the hamstring. We got two forty-fives on that joint, man. We gonna make sure we get a nice contraction. We gonna make sure we control the weight on the way down, or on the way back up. I switched the uh, camera angle after this set. Oh. Boom. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Mmm. Woo. Yeah. It ain't nothing like them legs. I would have did a full leg day today, but I wanted to make sure that I was charged up. It's like I'm really kind of starting over. Cause when we went camping, I ain't really eat. I ate during the week. Well, not really, cause I was helping move, you know, the, the equipment. So it's like really 
like 10 days for real that I've been off on my eating, if not more, like 11, 12, actually. But it's all good. We just gonna work our way back up, train smart, get back on the food, starting tomorrow. Cause it's already kind of late. I only got one meal in me. But it's all good, you know what I mean? He come with the game. Just train smart, eat. And you 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 know when you ready to get back under that under that weight. So we're just gonna take it nice and slow. As long as you in that gym, you know. Like I said, I probably needed the rest, the break anyway, because I've been going, I've been going crazy in the gym. And I'm still chasing that 700 squat high bar. And I'm still chasing that 700 dead conventional Lego. So hamstrings, that's gonna help me. You know what I mean? With my squat, it's gonna help me get out the hole. Them deadlifts gonna help me stand up with that 700. It's gonna help me pick it up and put it down, you heard? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, go. Nine. Oh yeah. Woo. That's it two, we gonna do three. I mean, we gonna do four over here. Then we gonna go back to some pull-ups. I'm gonna knock out some of them pull-ups. You see what I mean? Like I say, bro, I, if y'all can see, if you've been here for a while, yeah, I know, and if you new to the channel, I don't really do, you know, set program trainings and things like that. I go in and do how I feel. Long as I'm feeling it, long as I'm getting a good pump, I'm getting some work, it don't much matter. You know what I mean? It, it, it's good to switch it up. Like I know a lot of people are like, oh, the body y'all really confused and doo -doo -doo -doo. Whatever. You know what I mean? Do what you feel doing, do what you feel works best for you. What works best for you may not work best for everybody else. So with that being said, I'm not saying that my training style is the way to go. I'm not saying that my training style is the best style or whatever the case may be. What I'm saying is my training style is my training style. It works for me, you know what I mean? I can't vouch for nobody else, so I can't say, oh, it's gonna work for you, it's the best. No, I mean, you can give it a shot. I've tried many training styles. And how I train is what I enjoy doing because at the end of the day, you wanna enjoy doing it at the same time. Me personally, I wouldn't enjoy coming in the gym doing a set program. Week in and week out, you know, not being able to push myself to that limit for that day. You know what I mean? Every day, every day ain't gonna be your best day. Like if you in the strength training or moving heavy weight, every day you ain't gonna be able to lift that same heavy weight. Or each week, you're not gonna be, you gonna have your off weeks, you gonna have your off days. But still push yourself to the limit for that day. You know what I mean, I don't believe in that 30%, 40%. If I'm gonna drive to the gym to train 40%, I'm gonna stay at the house and chill 100%. Understand me? <laughs> Let's go. My hamstrings lit up. Mm. Two. Three. Oh. Uh. Six. Seven. Eight. Come on. Nine. Oh, yeah. Woo. My hamstrings lit. It don't take a lot for them hamstrings. Look at that, man. Look at that, look at that legs. Boy, I do pan hawks. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, we got one more set. One more set, fellas and ladies. Oh, yeah. Vibing up to them slow jams today, man. Hey, Dever, it's Sunday. You know, chill, man. Yeah. When it's time to get in that bag, we gonna play that, that rap, that trap music. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, ah, seven, eight, come on, nine, ah. Whoo, hamstrings lit. Let's go to these pull-ups, man. Let me clean up my mess. All right, y'all. I'm finna finish off on these pull-ups. I'm finna get up out of here. Let's try. Ah. 
Jeez. Hey, actually, I ain't gonna cheat myself, man. We here, we might as well put in that dog work. Front raises, boom. Twist it at the top. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. See, the beautiful thing, man, about working out and things like that, like to get a body, you have to build it. It's like build a bar, just build a body. Like the, the work, the dedication, the commitment, nobody can take that away from you. A lot of people don't have what it takes to get in the gym day in, day out, put in that work, to watch what they put in their mouth every day, or most days. It takes a strong individual mentally to, to stick to a certain eating plan or re re regimen to get in the gym and bang the weights, do your cardio, uh, do whatever, just stay active day, day in and day out. Like people can go buy BBLs, tummy tucks, and all the other surgeries and things like that. But that's like, it ain't the same. That's why people who do that, who get the surgeries and things like that, they never understand what it takes to get in the gym and put in that work. Like people always be like, oh, I don't see how y'all go to the gym every day. That's crazy, woo woo. Now I don't see how you don't care about yourself every day. That's what's crazy, you know what I mean? Like you ain't gotta be uh run weight model ready. But bro, get in the gym, stay active, make better eating choices. We all love food, I love food, but I make better eating choices so I can stay somewhat healthy inside and out, you know what I mean? I ain't saying I'm the best. Like I said I still eat junk food, we still go party from time to time. But most of the day, most of the time, I'm in this gym and I'm watching what I eat. Like people be like, oh, how do you stay fairly lean? Because I watch what I eat. You know what I mean? What you eat plays a huge part in how you look, how you feel. Mm. 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 Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Woo, what's that 50? 50 pull up, mm. straight up and down. Seven, eight, nine. Mm. And you can't be, when it comes to this, you can't be scared to be a lonely soldier, lonely warrior, whatever you want to call it. Having workout partners is cool or whatever. Only to me, having a workout partner is only cool if the intensity is matched. I don't want nobody who's gonna try to, it's cool to compete, but stay in your lane. You know what I mean? I'd rather you compete with me intensity-wise than try to compete with me pound for pound weight-wise and you know you out of your lane. Like when I live with people who, who are stronger than me in certain categories, I'm gonna push you, I'm gonna support you, I'm gonna, you know, I'm rooting for you, but I'm gonna stay in my lane. I'm gonna put in my work to get quality work. I ain't gonna be trying to ego lift to compete with you. Because when, when people firstly work out with me and they do that, it kills my vibe. You know what I mean? I like I like dudes who gonna have the same mindset, the same intensity. We wanna get in here and put in this work, have fun, and go home. You know what I mean? That's what a good training partner is. Not, none of that complaining, none of that saying, oh, making excuses. Bro, just put in your work. Put in your quality work. Be the best you that you could be. You know what I mean? That's what makes a good training partner. I wonder did I have it up on my last pull up. I don't even know. Ooh, I don't think I did. Three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> but the audio was gone. I don't know if I let it up on my last one. That audio was going though. Y'all see what's going on. That's 60 down. Four, five, six, 
Adam. Hey. Yes, sir. Yee. Oh, 40 more. Dude's talking about pull ups looking real bodybuilderish. Let me see you crank out 100 pull ups. And even if it is looking bodybuilderish, most bodybuilders can't do it. At the end of the goal, at the end of the day, see, understand. When I say training like a bodybuilder, a bodybuilder dude, I'm saying most bodybuilders train soft. I'm just gonna call it a spade a spade. A lot of people don't agree with it. Most bodybuilders train soft compared to the guys back in the day. Most bodybuilders wanna do everything on machine. I mean, they make excuses as to why they duck dumbbells and barbells. I wouldn't hurt myself. You're gonna hurt yourself because your stabilizer muscles are very underdeveloped and weak because all you do is machines. So of course, if you get on dumbbells, barbells, trying to go crazy weight, and your body not used to it because you're used to babysitting, doing machines, of course you're gonna get injured, most likely. But if you mix them both in, you're building your stabilizer muscles, bro. I mean, so the goal is to build your body to look like a bodybuilder. You just want to have, you just don't want to be all show muscle and no go muscle. You know what I mean? Like I, re I used this as a reference in the previous video. You don't want to have a Corvette with a Honda Civic motor in it. You look strong, but when we pull up to the line of race, you you underperform. You want to have you want to have a, that big boy vet. And when somebody pull up on you, you want to be able to mm, smash off on them. That's what I mean by training like a bodybuilder dude. You definitely want to look good. Why would you come in the gym to not build your body? I mean, some of y'all guys, y'all don't be, y'all just be saying stuff and y'all don't think. Why well, come in the gym every day to not look good? It's called bodybuilding. But when you bang them dumbbells, them barbells, them pull-ups, them dips, them push-ups, you're going to look different. That's a fact. <clears throat> Ooh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, mm, mm, that's 70 now. Woo. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo. I'm gonna do them front raises until I knock down these last pull-ups. Let me get some of these carbs. It's gonna be, hey, this building right here, it's gonna go down there, y'all. It's gonna go down for sure. Whew. I'm still, I'm still, Lost for words for this, bro. This mug is so dope. So dope, bro. That's, that's, that ain't love right there, man. What you call it? Oh, I thought I'd better lift it up. If this ain't, if this ain't dope, it's dope, bro. Boss for words, still. I had to bring my mom in here to see this, man. That's major right there. You know what I mean? Stuff like that, give me that extra push to keep going, dog. Never, never in a million years ever thought that someone would get a picture of me painted on the wall in the gym. That's just real talk. Jeez, it's 80. Ah, whoosh, two, eight, oh, hey, 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 huh. Bicep, we got a pump. Woo! 
We got 20 more, y'all. We knocked this last 20 y'all, dog. Whew. Pops. Look at my dog, this T Love Pops right here. Hold on, yeah. All right, y'all, we back. We owe two more sets. Best. Let go. Yes, sir. Honey piece. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, hey, huh, man, woo! That's all she wrote. All right, guys, so that's it for today's workout. Felt good to get a quick pump in, get up out of there. So gonna go home, shower, take my pre my post workout, go chill with the fam, man, the fam, my granny now, my grams, my uncle, my aunts, you know, before they head back out tomorrow. I ain't gonna be, get to see them tomorrow because I'll be at work. But I appreciate y'all for rocking with the channel, man. I appreciate all, all the donations, man. All the thumbs up, the honeys in the comments, the shares. It all helps, bro. It all helps. So I appreciate y'all. Until next time, we checking out. Peace. <laughs>